morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. As you can see, I have two canvases, a 40 by 40 and a beautiful little oval canvas. So my intention today is to create two gorgeous pieces of art from one um, you'll see as we go along. So at the moment I'm just putting a normal acrylic paint with my pouring medium. All the information for my particular pouring medium and what I do is in the drop down box underneath this video. If you're um, a newbie and want to know. And so I'm putting the base coat on just of paint with the pouring medium. So I'm doing a two tone effect on my canvas there as you see. I'm not worried that my brush already had or my sponge brush had white on, that's absolutely fine because it's just doing the preparation for an undercoat, which will basically get covered with my next stage. So we'll move on to the next stage. So that is a lovely turquoise. Um, it was pre-made up in that bottle. And what I'm doing there is just putting that line of turquoise down and swiping it with my soft plastic file divider. I'm just creating a background for my next stage. So that's giving it a nice um, background. I will bring you down in a second or two and show you the lovely cells that did come through on part of this. But I just thought it'd be nice to have that background. These kind of backgrounds done that way are um, really lovely for doing um, an, an abstract um, scenery or, or landscape look. So I'm going to kind of do the same with the blue, but I'm swiping the white through it. So as you see, it's just to give me a really nice lacy background, which you will see in a second or two. Ooh, looky, looky, look at that lovely lacy effect. And how simple was that? Just two colors on the canvas and the really nice swipe through gives these lovely lacy effects. So soft and delicate. It's really, really special. And there you go in the smaller canvas. Look at those cells. They look so beautiful. Okie dokie, stage two goes on my lovely luscious purple. Um, it's a nice deep purple, this one. So I'm just doing the wiggle wiggles all over my canvas. Nice and easy, take it easy, enjoy the process. I did get a bit of a blob in there, which I will remove with my tweezers. I think it was just a bit of skin off the paint, but never mind, it happens. And then I'll move on to the other colours that I um, kind of wiggle wiggle through nice and easy. This is um, a lighter, it's turquoise, but it's a lighter version. I've just added white to it. So I just want to put a bit of turquoise in there as well. So it's just gently layering, well, doing the wiggles and putting the paint colours in that you so desire. The next colour is my Berry Delicious, which is a custom colour that I make up out of a very dark red, add some phthalo blue and a blob of black and it makes this gorgeous dark cherry. The next one is some gorgeous orange and I always add a good blob of yellow to my orange to bring it up even brighter. So that was just something I wanted in there to give it a bit of a pop pop your socks and then a quick whiz over with my heat wand. So at the moment I've got some um, that is really dark purple in there. That's the Amsterdam purple actually and it's made up with um, the Australian flow troll. So I am going to do a swipe through this. It will look very messy at first when I do the swipe, but um, 
please bear with me because the end results are definitely worth it. So it's just doing some wispy bits through there and then showing you, see those lovely cells that it creates? And um, yeah, I will do some more swiping through the whole of the colors, but just at the moment, I'm just concentrate on just doing some wispy bits to add through that lovely lace that you see. So I'm currently adding a thicker line again of that mixture and now I will swipe down the opposite way through all my colours. This way it does and will look very messy um, but the end result is just beautiful. They're really like cell gems popping up in, that, in those colours. Now I will bring you down to have a look because up here where the camera is located it's not showing those absolutely stunning cells that are appearing And just look at the actual true colour and gems and uh, awesome effects that we got from that. Now it's the balloon magic time. So my balloon is a licensed squidgy. You put it between your two fingers there and um, just you can press quite firmly into the canvas. If the paint consistency is correct, it shouldn't um, go right through and leave a blank canvas. It's all about paint consistency and persistence. I know lots of people say this balloon looks so easy but when we've come to do it it is quite difficult and it definitely is about those two things and that's consistency and persis persistency. <laughs> persistence and consistency and I'll put it into one word as persistency. That's it. <laughs> Um, as you see, look at the effect on that second canvas of the balloon kiss transfer. Um, it's, they kind of look like 3D floating medallions um, because of that background. So they're my sticky kisses, sticky kisses, and it's really coming together nicely. And those actual colours that I'm pulling up from that canvas going over the... Um, the gems in there are just absolutely stunning and I couldn't be more pleased with it. So these are the gorgeous results of this two for one. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous cells. Gorgeous effects. I'm so happy I did that background. It, it makes it um, kind of look like a 3D effect. And my balloon kisses in those colours look absolutely stunning. And then to transfer those gorgeous kisses from the balloon over to my other canvas with that background certainly looks like they're just floating there and I think with a coat of resin or gloss finish it's really going to make them stand out and pop so that was a very simple one um, transferring the kisses over but glad that, again that I did that particular background because it looks beautiful and the sticky kisses on there but the effects in here are just stunning with that background swipe. Look at that, beautiful. Certainly art therapy, for sure, gives you joy. Can be frustrating at times, but certainly worth the effort. So I wanna thank you lovely people for watching me and I'll be here again tomorrow with another exciting episode, I hope. So there you go. 
There'll be some photos of the dry pieces at the end and hope that you like them. Please stay safe, people. Until tomorrow, bye for now.